what's going on, Live Maddox 1057 The Point, and I am joined by the one, the only Jacoby Shaddix of Papa Roach. Jacoby, how's it going? What's up? I'm doing good. <laughs> Live Maddox, J- Live Maddox and Jacoby Shaddix. What? We're going to start our own S- podcast. Spastic, dramatic, <laughs> dramatic, erratic. Yeah, dude. I'm good. Thanks good, good, good. You. So good. I can't believe it's been a year since you were here in St. Louis last. Yes. Can for you, the redo. For Point Fest 2.0 yeah. of 2022. Uh, and that one was sick. That was, was like phenomenal moment, honestly. It was. Like, definitely, you know, it's good to be back. I'll good. just say We're that. We're so glad to have you back. Okay, so this is night one of tour with Spirit Box and Shine Down. Yes. How pumped are you right now? I am like over the moon stoked about it. It's it's awesome. I did a round table. Brent invited me out for a round table with the folks mm-hmm. in Spirit Box and we were just talking at that a couple weeks ago, just about how all of us were just super stoked to be on the road with each other. And, you know, we got history with Shinedown. We've done shows with those mm-hmm. dudes. And we've we've seen our bands go through just some gnarly stuff, you know, and For sure. just continue building as artists and creators and writers. And it's, you know, I think there's a there's a lot of love between the camps here. And it's, it's going to be a dope run. That's I just good. know it is. That's good. It's so important. If you're going to be on the road with a group of people, you better like them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. I mean, it makes it makes for a fun tour, you know, because it's like when the camps are getting along and everybody's vibing. It's like post show, like we got that kicking spot. People be hanging out tonight, yeah. you know, and it's and plus we got fr- I got some friends coming down tonight, which is cool too. Hadn't seen in a minute, so it's gonna it's gonna be a vibe here in St. Louis. We coming to bring the ruckus. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now I know recently in an interview you were talking about how you feel like Papa Roach, Corn, Deftones are like the, the next generation's Metallica. Oh, absolutely, man. I mean, Shine Down's in that as well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying for sure. And I just feel like it's it's a goal, right? I had this intention when I was a kid to become a rock star. Mm -hmm. And then once that happened, and once that started kind of happening, I was like, all right, now, because we did a show with Stone Temple Pilots back in the day, it was like 2002. And I saw them do their set list and it was just like all hits. And I was like, now that's what I'm going for. Like, I want to have a career. I want to be a legacy artist. Mm -hmm. And now we're seeing, you know, uh, Metallica out there just ripping it in the stadiums. Like, they just had one of the biggest uh, attendances at a stadium. They beat Taylor Swift. You know what I'm saying? And so that's inspiring to us, you know, not only to myself, but I'm sure to Jonathan Davis and, Mm -hmm. you know, the homies in in, uh, Deftones or Brent, you know, and the boys in Shinedown. It's like we see that happening, and that's where we see our bands in the next 15 to 20 years. And, uh, you know, it's like you got to have goals, right? Absolutely. And and I got to dream big. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Whether I make it there or not, you know, we'll see. But it's like that's, that's my goal. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you envision the band continuing to put out albums year after year? Or are you going to like find a cutoff date, but then still tour? You know, it's interesting that you asked. That's kind of a conversation I've been having with myself internally, mm-hmm. you know, and it's uh, I know I want to write more music. Um, I think right now, I don't necessarily think we're really focused on an album. We're going to go write tunes, but I think yeah. we're just kind of going to drop songs for a little while and just see what that if that culminates into an album or an EP and just kind of see where it takes us because it's the Wild West right now when it comes to the music business and, and we're calling the shots. Yeah. And so we just want to deliver dope material to our fans. And we're not done uh, saying what we want to say creatively mm-hmm. by no means. And so there will be more music. It's just how do we release it? I think that's going to be kind of an adventure for all of us, you yeah, know, whether it's yeah. successful or not, we'll see, Yeah, you know. And it's, a, and it's a weird time in music, too, because it's so singles driven and people will, you know, go to Spotify and download one song here, one song there. Mm-hmm. Like the album, uh, sure, like vinyl is, is huge right now, but it, I think it, it creates something different to consider when you're creating music. Uh, well, I think it's trippy because it's almost like it's full circle now because back in the 50s, right, it was like they were just dropping singles. Yeah. Just dropping records, get out there on the road and tour and really... We write music to inspire people to come and see us live, mm-hmm. right? That's This stage is where rock and roll truly lives. And so if we can go write another banger that inspires the people to come back and come be part of what we're doing again, mission accomplished, you yeah. know? And, uh, but I mean, yeah, like you say, it is an interesting time in music, but it's like, it's, it's interesting, but it's exciting in a way. It's not like, oh, woe is me. Oh, snap. Like, what are we going to do? It's mm-hmm. like, oh, man, we got the bull by the horns and the bull's following. Yeah. Let's go. 
Yeah, you're there to figure it out. You're you're blazing the trail. We're for running that. the show, baby. Let's go. <laughs> you are, and I actually watched that roundtable discussion you guys had, okay. and, and you mentioned something really cool. And I had the same conversation uh, with the guys of Disturb the other day that mm. these shows, these bands like you guys of this generation, you're seeing multi generations yeah. out in that arena, and so you're getting parents, kids, grandparents, it's even at this point. Is that trippy? Like it is awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's like your attendance goes up, right? Because sure. all of a sudden it's like, you know, somebody my age in their 40s was like, oh, I love, I grew up listening to P. Roach. Their kids love it. And then somehow mom mom yeah. loves the band too. Yeah. You know, it's it's a beautiful thing, especially when we look out at the audience and we just see packed houses. That's like, that's what we came for, you yeah. know? And we're going to throw it down for the people of St. Louis tonight. Please uh. believe. <laughs> I keep saying, I'm, like I'm like a broken record. But Good. it's like, you know, I've been, ca I've been caged up for about a month, you know? So... <laughs> I'm, f I'm fixing to tear it down. <laughs> Perfect. So Jacoby's ready to come out of the cage on stage tonight here at Hollywood Casino Amphitheater. If you're listening on the radio at home, there's still plenty of time to come out. Music doesn't even start till 6.50 tonight, or 6.40 tonight, rather. So come on out. And Jacoby, thank you so much for joining Absolutely. me. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for y'all's support. We appreciate it. Thanks, Jacoby. Yeah.